Hello everyone, welcome to Chats with the Farmer's Daughter Fibers. My name is Candace English and I am the Farmer's Daughter. Um, if you haven't watched our podcast before, um, you can go back and watch old episodes, but every episode is new. They aren't really connected. I probably repeat myself a lot of the time anyways. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a stream of my consciousness, which people say that they love and they like, even though I feel like a crazy person out here. Y'all don't seem to care. Um, and then I show off knitting things from my life and also from the shop, obviously. Um, so yeah, and I'm at home um, and I'll probably be at home recording episodes until we start getting a little bit more sun because I, I just, um, you know, I can't really record between 10 and five, even nine and five is hard anymore. Um, and there's just not enough sunlight. So I'm doing it from home, um, which is great. I love I love doing it from home. The only thing is, is if I forget something like last minute, I forgot a couple things today to show you guys. And, uh, and then I just have to tell you about it. And then what's the point of seeing me in video? I don't know. Um, so that's the downside of that. It's storming today. Um, the weather is, yeah, it's stormy and snowing and amazing and super cozy. Um, Ryder is at home sick, which is a bummer. Um, it's just that time of year. Everyone's getting sick. Addie was sick last week. Ryder's sick this week. I've been taking so much damn herbs and vitamin C and I have this stuff, this vitamin C spray that I've been just spraying in my mouth like this. And it tastes like a, it's Garden of Life, My Kind Organics. It tastes like, what is that, what is that orange juice? Not Fanta. Tang. Tastes like Tang. I love it. I don't know. Sometimes they give it away free at my little organic store. Um, yeah, so I've been taking a lot of that. A lot of zinc, keeping myself healthy. Last weekend, Caitlin Hunter was here and that was amazing. It was so fun to hang out with my buddy. Um, Caitlin and I have done a lot of yarn shops and shows and all kinds of things together. And uh, yeah, it was just so much fun to hang out with her again. I just, it's been like years since we've done it. So, um, and she taught classes and it was really fun to have everyone at the shop. We had people travel kind of from all over the place to um, join us. And we had Cowboy Christmas, which was chilly. And we hung out and knit and shopped and shopped some more. Everybody was picking out projects. I was picking out projects. Caitlin was picking out projects. It was so fun. Um, so yeah, what else have I been up to? That was a lot. That was a three day work filled event and on Sunday, I was exhausted afterwards, um, which during it didn't feel like I wasn't tired working. I didn't feel like, you know, um, overly worked. I mean, maybe I'm just used to it by now. I don't know. Like that's probably it. People are like, oh my gosh, this is so much work to put it on. I'm like, is it? It doesn't feel like that much work. I've done it so many times. It's just easy now but my body said otherwise on Sunday. I came home and made a little nest. Um, Sarah, who works at the shop, told me that on Sundays a lot of time that she'll make a nest in her bed and like have all of her little things. And her husband just like gives, comes and brings her like food and provisions. And so I made my own nest on Sunday and it was amazing. I love nesting. Um, so it's gonna get really cold next week. And I think that I'm gonna be doing a lot of nesting, which I'm like ready, you know, this time of year is so um, busy and crazy. And I maybe outdid myself on Christmas a little bit earlier. I think my last episode, I was like, I love Christmas. Ah! And now I'm like, oh my God, it's so much. Um, I finished-ish my Christmas shopping. I got ev almost everything wrapped last night. Um, it's all under the tree. Like I just, I'm gonna do whatever I freaking can to get all of my shit done this week, so I can be like 
a little bird in a nest or like a little baby bear in a cave and ooh, the wind is picking up now or maybe it's just the snow blowing that hard it's crazy out there um yeah so so it's gonna get like i think next thursday the high is negative 19 and the low is negative 20 i mean we're talking like insane temperatures which i'm sad about because it's like i want to go outside and enjoy the snow um i also want people to come and shop downtown great falls nobody's shopping when it's negative 26. are you nuts maybe for yarn though that's true got to get it in before the holiday and then you can be stuck inside nesting with me or like me um yeah so that's kind of what's going on here sick kids getting all the last minute end of the year stuff we have a couple more releases before the end of the year um but everything is good i just am ready to slow down i think slow down but then also i'm just like in a knitting like i just want to knit I just want to make a sweater in like five days, you know, when you get in those moods and you're just like, just want to make and craft and eat yummy food. I don't want to do the, the whole, bleh, all the things anymore. I'm done. I'm done doing all the things. I think everyone is, right? We just want to, let's just, let's just freaking online shop and stay home. That sounds good to me. Okay. Anyways. Um, let's move on from my ramblings. I don't think I really have anything else to tell you guys. We, like I said, we had such a great weekend last weekend. We did prizes and sales and classes and all the things. And, um, yeah, maybe I might have to do wrestling this weekend. Well, here's the thing. Ryder's sick. Will he be better? I don't know. But... If he's not better, I'm still going to have to, and then means I'm not watching him. And then I'm going to have to volunteer to work tables and concession stands, which will be okay. Um, so either way, I'm doing wrestling this weekend and hopefully getting some knitting in and I was going to tell you guys, oh, we have yoga at Farmer's Daughter Fibers on Sunday. I'm so excited. Um, Ashley Lapp, who is a yogi instructor, yoga instructor, and a um, maker, a knitter, she's a customer of ours, is teaching a class on Sunday at Farmer's Daughter Fibers. So if any of you locals are interested, it's going to be um, super fun, 10 o'clock, all levels. Like you don't have to, like this could be your first time doing yoga and you would be fine. Um, so we'll have um, kind of clear out the bottom of the shop and have mats while well, you bring your own mats. And it's gonna be really focused around your shoulders and your arms um, and stretching all of that out. And it's gonna be a pretty um, slow pace, I would say medium pace. It's not going to be restorative, but it's also not going to be like, you know, I don't know. Fast vinyasa? I don't know what they call fast yoga, but, um, and she's an amazing teacher and I just, I just love her. So I'm so excited for that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what we have going on. All right. Rambling for reals done. Um, where are my podcast notes? Oh God, what am I going to talk about? Um, oh, let's talk about what I'm knitting. Okay, well, this is what I've knitted. Um, I made the barley hat out of the indigenous, November's indigenous collective bulky yarn. And I knit a baby size because I think it's a worsted. This is a bulky or maybe it's a DK. Oh, this is actually really freaking cute. I made it for my sister. I don't know if I, I think I showed you guys maybe this last time. And because I, I hope that she likes the, I hope she likes it. It's a little bit wild colors for her. Um, and I thought that this might mellow it down. I don't know. Right? Oh, I think that's cute. Yeah. And then um, out of the, baby palm book I was showing you guys this last time too and I need to 
I need to s finish it, cement, make the pom-poms, do the things. Maybe I'll go to knit night tonight. I have other obligations, but... Frick, other obligations. I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I have to go to work. They don't know that I'm knitting at work. Um, yeah, who's going to knit night tonight? Let's go, let's go be cozy inside. Sometimes on cold, cold days like this and like snowy days, it's like nobody comes, but most of the time it's like crazy and everyone comes because they want to get out of the house, I guess. So that's what I've been knitting. Oh, and I also did this. What is the name of this? Oh, this is the Botanic Hat by Stephen West. It's an old pattern. OG Stephen. Little baby Stephen. Kind of looks like, I don't know, one of those famous singers. Harry Styles, maybe? Yeah. Okay, and then this is the hat, and you knit it inside out. And I used... Um, Bear Paw DK, because I'm freaking obsessed. Last time I showed you guys that too, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna keep it around. Yes, we're freaking keeping it. I love it. You guys, my knitting bag has the, oh, there's my sunglasses. The most random things. I have $30 chapstick muscle rub. What else is in here? A lavender satchel. Edibles. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> kind of. Um, oh, that's not even what I'm freaking looking for. I was looking for the tags for the bear paw, but whatever, I can't find them. Um, so I used Little Wapiti is the color. And then I've got Dreams to Remember. This is one of my favorite color combos. So this is the outside of the hat and it's reversible. I think this side is way cooler. Don't look too hard because her decreases weren't that great. I mean, one out of five decreases I did correctly. And then, so this is for my brother-in-law and I was gonna knit Izzy, the blind basset hound, a scarf, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able I love this. It's so cute. <coughs> One of my favorite guy hats. I've knit it. I mean, I think I've knit this probably over 10 times. Really fast. I actually knit it almost in a day. Um, and yeah, so I use Bear Paw DK. Is it just one? It's just one size. Um, and a US size 5. I would maybe use a US 5. Oh, I'm sorry. US U.S. size 6 needles. I would use a size 5 next time. Um, I don't think I'm going to block it because I'm a little bit worried about it being too loose. So I'm gonna just going to give her a little steam block. And then my friend Karen, who is a customer of ours, she is designing a pair of mittens. And we have been talking about like thrum mittens forever. And... Um, if you don't know what a thrum mitten is, it's basically a mitten, um, just like a, you know, full mitten. And you take thrums, which are pieces of roving, and you just take off little pieces of roving and you can kind of like um, roll, them, roll the piece of roving in the middle of this little piece of roving. You're gonna roll it in between your fingers um, to make a thrum. And so, you know, the rest of the roving is kind of puffy, but that middle part is a little bit uh, more cinched together, rolled up. And then you make a bunch of those. And then as you're knitting, you actually use those as one of your stitches. So you would knit that piece of roving. Um, kind of hard to explain without showing you guys. So we've been obsessed with thrum mittens. We always talk about them and stuff. Um, I've yet to make a pair, but she is create. She created a pattern, and she used Pishkin 
an Odang, and it's just a little like, um, you know, it just like looks like little dots all over the mitten, and it's actually hand warmers. Um, and so the color work is four skeins of Odang held together. And this creates, I only have my cuff done, otherwise I would show you. And maybe I shouldn't even explain all of this until I have it done because I am not 100% sure the yarn that I'm going to be using will work. Um, so they're called the chore mitts. They're not out yet. And yeah, so she made them with Pishkin and Odang. They were in their one size and they were a little bit oversized for me. I like my mittens and my um, my um, fingerless mittens to be nice and tight. Um, and so I decided to use Bear Paw DK because again, I'm obsessed with it. It might be the, my new recollect. Um, it's so soft and I just love the colors, how the colors come out, just so rich and, um, what is the word, saturated, but they also have, like, you can tell they're hand dyed, which I love that. So, um, yeah, so the, the Bear Paw DK I'm using I'm doing the cuffs on a size two. She did all of her mitten. I'm like the most annoying test editor. Um, I'm not really testing it, but I just asked for the pattern early um, because I don't do anything that people tell me to do. Yeah, so this is on a size two, the cuff, and the cuff is folded over. Um, I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll fold the cuff over since it's a little bit like tighter you know I went down a needle size and she didn't do that so I might just actually just do the cuff a little bit longer and then start the mittens and then I did do four four strands of Odang held together um, for the little blips so basically what it does is because you're using the color work um, for the the Odang for the color work the inside of it just lines it as if it was a thrummed mitten um, because the Odang is so thick in there. I thought I might double this my um, bear paw sock and I decided not to because again I wanted them to be tighter and now I'm regretting doing four strands. I probably should have just done three. I think four is going to be too thick compared to the bear pod DK. So I'm going to have to figure out how to go about, I guess I could just try to rewind it, rewind the ball with taking one strand out. How the hell do I get myself in situations like this all the time? I don't know. I'm actually going to put this in the middle and then go from the outside. So, so that's kind of what I'm working on. I hope I get a chance today to keep working on it and finish these throughout the weekend. Like I want them done by Sunday. Then, you know, if it took me like, man, if I could get them done like in a day, then I could do a pair for my mom for Christmas. Where do you get your mom for Christmas? It's so hard. She has everything. I'll find a sample knit for her. <laughs> Look, Ma, I knit you something. Um, I think my mom's watched like two episodes and realizes how weird her freaking daughter is. But that's fine. She loves me regardless. Um, yeah, so that's my knit journey. I really want to start my Sully sweater. Um, so I think. By the next time I guys I chat to you guys, I'll be started on my silly sweater. I hope. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm knitting. That's where we're going with all of this. And big cozy cardi cal is coming up. Um, I won't be knitting it because y'all know I won't freaking finish it. And I just put it on really quick. So you can see, um, I, I got dressed 
only for the podcast today. And I couldn't find the strength to take my hot pink bra off, so I'm sorry. My hot pink sports bra. Make sure this is correct. Okay. Ta da! Oh, two. What a lucky gal I am. Two of the most coziest sweaters right at my fingertips. Okay, I was just wearing, uh, I'm going to talk about that cardigan I was just wearing. It's actually a coat, which it really is. This is so much, not as hot as that one, um, airy. So this is the cozy cardi. I'll show you guys. Dun, dun, dun. I've talked about it before. Episode seven, six, seven, something like that um, of the podcast eight. It was an episode that came out in October. Um, yeah, so this is Recollect in Chinook Winds. This is Odane in Namu. We have the <laughs> kits on the website. Um, I don't think they're I think we've made a few extra, but we had pre-orders the last couple of weeks. Um, and or just even, I guess, just the last week. One week we had pre-orders. Um, and so Sarah is heading up this knit along. It starts on January 1st and it goes till March 31st. And let me just pull up the details so I don't forget anything. Um, you will cast on on um, January 1st, but if you want to cast on a little bit early, that's fine. I think we said like one week early or 10 days or something like that in order to um, in order to get the prize, which is the grand prize is a hundred dollar FDF gift card, um, the cocoa knits um, block mats mats these guys here and then a um the brush and the towel so a whole blocking set for your new cardi and then andrea is throwing in three of her um, patterns so that's exciting and um you can go on ravelry and use the chat there to participate We'll be having at least one Zoom meeting. Um, that's in January 11th. And Sarah will just kind of talk about the pattern, um, talk about the yarn. You guys can share what you're working on um, or what yarns that you're using. And the yarn, you don't have to use FDF. You could use any yarn that you want. If you use FDF, you get a double um, entry to win at the end. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of covering it, I hope. Um, and like I said, there are still some kits left. You could also make your own kit. We should have lots of Recollect and Reminisce in stock. And we restock like once or twice a month. Um, you know, some, we do, we are able to do a really good job of keeping yarns in stock. So if you're like, oh my gosh, you know, Many Moons is out because it's always out. Um, it's not like you have to wait that long. I'm gonna put this one back on. So if you go, I'll link it, but if you go onto our blog, then that's where we're talking about the, the knit along. Um, just go back into here. And what else? Maybe I'll talk about bags before I talk about the deep winter coat. We've had these in the shop for a little while, but I haven't even talked about them or advertised them or anything because we've just been busy. Um, I guess last time I did show off, this is Rainworks, and I did show off the small little project bags. Um, and then these are the backpacks, which are so cool. Um, the This is a wax canvas, and then, as you can tell, um, and then there is also, this is bison leather. Um, and there are, I think, bison leather on some of the bags as well. So, um, 
I love this backpack. I got an all black one and it's cool because you can wear it like a back, you know, just like your traditional backpack um, with both straps like this. Ta -da. And I can just show you kind of how it fits and how it lays. It's adjustable. Um, and then you can also take it. Let me see, how did they do this? Okay, so if you take both straps and, oh yeah, just like that. And then you can also use it like this, both regular old bag. So, um, I saw that they did that in the pictures that they sent us. I'm not necessarily sure if I would do that. Um, there are, let's see here, there's a one big pocket and then another big pocket and then two kind of small side pockets. But definitely enough to put like your water bottle in. Actually, that's what that would be a great pocket for. And then on the inside, which I love, is also five, one, two, three, five pockets in here. So you have enough to, it's kind of hard to show this. My fan and white skills are not very good. Um, yeah, so you have enough to put your needles in, your needle holder, um, a notebook, pens, pencils, wallet, all of the things. Um, and it is Rainworks. They are in Manhattan, Montana, um, which is just outside of Bozeman a little bit. I wonder if Sanders Hall, that's who that was. Somebody just went outside. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe I have to do this, but wait, I gotta find him. Sanders in my phone as Big Daddy, so <laughs> like text Big Daddy. Are you home? Question mark. There is soup on the stove that you can heat up. Oh wait. Xander? Zan? Ryder? What? Oh, I thought you were dad. What are you doing? I'm just grabbing my backpack. Are you going to school? No. Okay. Um, okay, sorry. Um, so Manhattan is about a, I don't know, 45 minutes, hour outside of Bozeman. Um, and two really amazing women who are knitters are um, the owner of the company. There is dry oil, dry oil skin and then traditional oil skin. Um, they get all of these from Merchant and Mills, all of the um, canvas, so really, really high quality. Um, use cold water, do not use soap. Yeah, all of your, all of your things. So there is this black and forest green color. And then this one's my, one of my favorites. I'm kind of regretting not getting one with color, but I don't know. And then there's other colors too. I just grabbed three of them that we have in the shop. Kind of this cream and blue, sagey blue. And then this is pink and kind of a wine color. Port, I believe is what they call it. So, ooh, the inside of this is like a really pretty cranberry. You can't really see it. So those are the new backpacks that we have in. Um, and I think all the colors are in stock. They should be. Okay. And then the next thing, I'm so excited to show you guys this. It is the Deep Winter Coat. And it is by Woolen Pine. And Woolen Pine is Selena and Abby. And they're a design team. Um, 
out of Canada, but does Abby, I can't remember if you live in Washington or Canada, Pacific Northwest. How about that? Um, so this is knit, double, recollect, and reminisce worsted. Um, obviously beautiful cables. We had ours knit um, by one of our friends and customers here in Great Falls. She lives outside of Great Falls. Um, but she did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. And I kind of asked her, like, what would your notes be if you were going to do it again? What would you do? All of those things. So she shared some of that with us. Um, the thing about the pattern is, well, first of all, it is a lot of yarn. Um, it's held double. And I really think that I brought some skeins of Recollect um, worsted and reminisce worsted. I think the thing, when you look at this yarn, and it's a lot like Sukapi, um, and Pishkin before everyone tried and fell in love with Pishkin, it just doesn't look, like, super exciting in the skein. It's not this, like, amazing, noticeable, beautiful twist to it. Um, it's soft, but it's not, like, you know, doesn't have alpaca mixed with it. It's not like, oh my gosh, once you knit with it though, once you get it out of the skein and opened up and knitting on it, it just blooms really, really beautifully. Um, I think that it, um, and especially once you block it, it is going to, you know, even give a lot more life to it. So what I've seen knit with it and crocheted with it, it just really transforms from looking at it in the skein. And everybody who's knit with it has said that too, of like, oh, I didn't realize it was gonna be quite so nice. Um, there's 210 yards. So for the sweater, you do need quite a bit. We used, um, I think it called for, this is a size three, which is a 40, or no, a 38 inch bust. Um, and, it called for 10 skeins. She, Iggy ended up using 11 skeins. Um, that's probably um, added in now that the pattern, you know, that was during testing. And actually she did, I sent her another skein, but she did end up taking out her swatch and using um, her swatch because there's a belt with it. And... My body shape isn't necessarily one where I would want to wear a belt. Um, it doesn't really do much for my waistline. Um, I mean, I guess with leggings, I tried it on with jeans before and that was not working. With leggings, it's a little bit better. Um, but I just, you know, I've talked about this before with my stone crop cardigan is if I wear a cardi and then I just want it open I don't want to button it or anything like that so um and what Iggy said that she did is um and we had no idea that she was <laughs> as talented of a knitter as the she is she's been coming to knit night for quite a while and uh yeah we she's been hiding her talents and she might regret that she's shown them to us because, I mean, she whipped this out in a month. Just, she's in, yeah. I'm not somebody who does, like, I could do cables, but it just seems like a lot of math for me. Um, it's just not really my brain, not even math, just keeping track. That's just not how my brain really works. So, um, I know a lot of you, though, do love cables. And she just rocked it out. I love the pattern on this. Um, and then like the seed stitch in there too. And it's really thick, um, obviously because it's held double. It is, um, yeah, it's really thick. I went out on Saturday, went outside with it. And I mean, it was probably like 35 degrees and I wouldn't 
I didn't need a coat. I mean, it really, I think it truly, and even putting on the other sweater, the big cozy cardi, which is a big cardi, um, I was surprised. So it truly is like a, a jacket. I would travel with this, um, you know, for mid weather and it would be fine. Um, so Aggie alternated skeins, in a different way where basically she would take um, one skein and then the other one, wind them, wind one of them into two balls and then kind of alternate that. So she wasn't knitting with like two together and then two together and then two together and two together. She was splitting up one of the skeins. So then that way she was like alternating skeins in a different type of way, which I thought was really smart and creative and ambitious. I'm not sure if I would do that, but if you want something that is like super, I mean, you can tell, you can't tell where one skein starts and the other one ends at all in this. So I think that obviously she did a really, really beautiful job. And this colorway is Sunny's. Um, so it's top down, there's a provisional cast on, um, the shoulders, you kind of start back here and then the shoulders get combined. Um, so it's two different pieces that you're combining together. Um, Abby and Selena have done an amazing job of providing tons of tutorials, video tutorials. So there's nothing that you're not going to be able to learn or know. Um, I think that that is really nice that there's so many videos. They are um, incredibly professional in their designs um, and just, I think, re work really hard to make everything like as seamless as possible um, and are available for that type of support. So I think that's really cool and I love working with people who make it easier for knitters. Um, and again, because this does take so many skeins, I mean, I would say it takes between from size one to the last size, which is a, let me see if I can see what the, oh, pulled right up. The last size, so it's a bus 30 to a bus 66 um is between seven skeins and like 17 skeins which is a lot they do offer alternatives um to yarn they have a knit picks one and a lion brand one um and this the pre-order comes out tomorrow so if you order the pattern tomorrow you basically get like um a little pre-release kit that has all of the yardage um the measurements and then access to those videos already so you can really see what you're kind of getting into there um we are offering from today to sunday um if you order seven or more skeins of reminisce or recollect worsted 15 percent off which i wanted to do be able to do something you know if you're like really wanting to knit this and you're wanting to use our yarn at least you have some sort of um, discount, you know, because again, I know it's a lot of yarn. I think it's definitely, definitely worth it. I love the collar on this too. Um, yeah, just if you are into knitting cables, I think this is definitely one to pick up. Um, Aggie said picking up for the sleeves is really easy. Um, she said the bind off was different. She learned a lot. Um, she was really excited about that. She did say, um, you know, she used a 10 and a half needles, obviously a larger size needles, probably why you can whip through this pretty quickly. Um, so the needles, she said that you're going to need cords between 16 and 60 inches. So if you have an interchangeable set, that will be really nice. If you're ordering yarn though and need those cords, um, you know, make sure that you're getting those. Um, and she said that, you know, she was working at, there are kind of three different charts sometimes that you're working off of too. She also said that, and this is what I forgot to bring home, was um, she loves the bamboo cable stitch holders. 
I actually took a picture of it because I'm smart. So those ones she said are her favorite cable needles. And then she also said that this maker board that we have from Kogo Knits was super helpful when she was working off of those different charts. Um, I just snapped those really quick so I wouldn't forget um, what they, what she had suggested. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And again, that sale goes from today, um, which today is Wednesday, um, December 14th all the way to Sunday, which is the 18th, I think. And you could probably save some yarn if you didn't want to do the belt. Um, even though I won't wear the belt, this is technically a sample for the store. So we got to do the things you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think that's kind of all I have for knitting to show you guys. Most of the time I have some other things or some educational pieces, but that is it for today. Um, I am going to, I'm not sure if we'll be back next week. Um, I might take the week off and then come back over that week between after Christmas and before um, New Year's. So um, some good books that we just got into the shop. Uh, I'm listening to this one. I'm reading a couple of other um Wait, I'm like, is this it? No, this isn't. Oh, this is the one. Um, I'm reading another book right now. And so I'm listening to this one. It's called Never Name the Dead. It's by D.M. Roll. Um, it's really, really, really good so far. And it's, I think, kind of a mystery book it's about this girl and she's a high-powered professional in Silicon Valley and she her grandpa who is Kiowa where she grew up in Oklahoma seems like he's missing that's as far as I've gotten she never expected to be plunged into a web of theft betrayal and murder so this one has been really good so far and then these are I think are all spooky books um Night of the Living Res I'm just guessing that one's spooky um it's by Morgan Talty and Tommy Orange who wrote There There which is one of my favorite books we also have that in the shop um said there's so much brutal raw and beautiful power in these stories reading this book I literally laughed and cried so these are different stories in 12 striking luminescent stories, author Morgan Telty with searching, or with searing humor, abiding compassion, and deep insight breathes life into tales of family and a community as they struggle with painful past and an uncertain future. A collection that examines the consequences and merits of inheritance. Night of the Living Res is an unforgettable betrayal of ind indigenous community and marks the arrival of a standout talent in contemporary fiction. I can't wait to read it. I'm not sure if the stories are separate or if they are all, like if they're intertwined at all or if they're all different. I'll let you know because I'm gonna read this I think over Christmas. And then this book has been out for maybe a year now, maybe, I think it came out, I know, last Christmas, let me see here. 2020 okay so it's been out for a couple of years it's called the only good indians and this is also a um scary it's seamlessly blending classic horror and a dramatic narrative with sharp social contempt commentary the only good indians follows four american indian men after a disturbing event from their youth puts them in a desperate struggle for their lives um this is no i'm like jordan peele a tale of revenge, cultural identity, and the cost of breaking from tradition in this latest novel from the Jordan Peele of horror literature. I love Jordan Peele, so um, I just have not read that one yet. I'll probably listen to that one too. So those are kind of books that I'm recommending right now. Um, I just finished a book and honestly, it's not even worth talking about. I said that last time too, it was, it was pretty lamers. Um, and then, so we have the sale on the um, Recollect and Reminisce Worsted, 
and then next week we'll have one more kind of thing to release and then over um or i guess christmas deal that we're offering next week and then um after Christmas, I think in between the holiday, we're going to be just doing some inventory and finding out what we kind of need to get rid of. So check that sales site a bunch um, because we'll have stuff on there. And then we'll probably have some like random um, kits that we usually do of things that we've dyed that just haven't quite worked out or trial colors and stuff like that that we usually put together for sales. So I think that's it. I hope you guys are having a peaceful December, that you're not stressing out too much. Um, I know this time of year can be really hard on a lot of people, so that you're taking care of yourself and you're enjoying. I'm gonna do the same too. Um, just kind of get all my stuff done and then be able to enjoy the rest of the month, so. Okay, um, All everything will be in the show notes. Oh, I guess a giveaway. Um, I didn't even think what should we do you know why don't we do a why don't we do a gift card this time um and then that way you can get exactly what you want so let's do a 50 dollar fdf gift card um yeah okay uh let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you guys around